Okay, so we've now got some coding done. We've got a template established and then used on later interviews or transcripts or whatever. And that may be developing the bit, the, the template as it goes. But you've got a whole set of other things you do with the template to revise it. You talk about, you talk about things like um, insertion, deletion, changing right. scope yeah. and so on. Can you take us yeah. through that process? How, how does one actually develop the template? Well, perhaps first question, why develop the template? What's wrong with it? What, what are we looking for in trying to improve it? I think what you're looking for is a situation where there is a, there is in, there is a sort of ever decreasing amount of the data that doesn't get incorporated into the template or, 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 or better to say can't be indexed on the template so you're trying you're trying to so most of it should fit yeah, in, in some you're, way yeah you're trying to incorporate as much as is possible and, mm -hmm. and often I think what happens in any qualitative analysis of this kind is to start with a few things jump out that are clearly like that's clearly going to have to be a main theme that's clearly addressing it and other things get kind of skirted over and then if you've been thorough and careful about it, you begin to say, actually, no, that's telling me something about that person's perspective. That it's a bit on a tangent, but actually it's quite important. So by forcing you to keep going back and saying, is this good enough? You know, am I capturing what I need to here? Uh, and be, being kind of self-critical. Um, but it, I find that having the template there, rather than simply kind of immersing yourself in the whole lot, kind of mm. gives you something to hold on to. Yes. So you're, say, you're, not, you're not simply saying, I'm not quite happy with what my themes are. You're saying, you know, yeah, I can see the problem is this doesn't quite fit here or here. And that might suggest that those definitions don't work very well. So it helps you, to, I think, to kind of refine your thinking. You can way. see where you need to refine it. You yeah. That, that, yeah. That's what's wrong. Yeah. He's fixing in some way. Yeah. He's doing. What would you do with it then? So, so I, I mean, as I say, I mean, in, in things like, like the chapters I've done for Cassell and Simon and, and on the website, I give examples of different kinds of modification. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So clearly you might just it's simply... Insertion, deletion. Yeah, you might simply add a new theme that just wasn't there before. Right. Um, or you might find that one theme has been kind of subsumed in so many others it's really redundant and you can just remove it and you're not losing anything um, but very often what, what, you, what you, you end up doing it is more a matter of kind of redefining what you've got and that might mean merging themes together or um, recognizing that something you've defined as quite a low level like more detailed theme actually would make more sense to be interpreted as a very high level theme, as a broad and broader thing. And often you've got a real choice about what's the, what's the top level and what's the sub, subset of it. So, so you might have a case where you, you're looking at a particular issue. Like let, let's say, if we go to the allotment example, um, so feelings about nature might be something that's there and interesting, and then there might be something that's interesting about um, relief from stress, okay, people mm. saying that, you know, that they don't feel stressed anymore. Now you might say relief from stress is one of the sub-themes of responses to nature because they say, you know, being out in the open there watching the birds, I just mm. feel all the stress draining away. Mm. They say, oh that could be a sub-theme of that. Equally you could say the major issue is relief from stress and one of the things that gives you that is contact with nature. There's no right or wrong about that but which way round you do it might have consequences for the way you think about the data and what you kind of put in the foreground mm -hmm. and in the way you disseminate it, the way you, the way you convey your findings to other people. So often you're making choices about well, what, what's an effective way to organise the levels of this hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And, and you, know, it, 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 you know, I think it is important that, it, that it's rarely a case where you can clearly say that is simply wrong to be there. It's like, what happens if that's there? What kind of story do I tell about the data if I organise it in this way? Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important, I think, to keep people, and I, we've done some work about this in the past, to keep mm -hmm. people from kind of f freezing up too early yes. and saying, yeah. OK, yes. that would do, that would fine, that's fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. to make them keep saying, could I look at this data in a different way? Yes. Maybe so, there's a so different way of moving it remain around. Remain flexible about it. Maybe. Remaining flexible, yes. yeah. 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 And I think it does... It does encourage that. And I think, I think how you do it mechanically matters. So if you're doing it by hand, my favoured method is to get lots of index cards and clear a nice big floor or table. Mm. And then you can literally physically move things. And I said, well, 
Could this be a subset the cards, of this? The, the, the name of the theme, the name of the themes, yeah. and an index to instances of it within the transcript, yeah, yeah. so that you never just look at the themes and say do it as an abstract logical game, but you're always saying I, I think that belongs there. Let me go and look. Let me right. look at the examples yes. and see yeah. if those really do seem like yes. instances of different levels of the same phenomenon. Yeah. Um, I think on, on, that can be difficult on CACDES, but things like the, is it the Node Explorer on MVivo, yes. where, where you can visualise it on little spots you can move about very yes. easily and yeah. play around with it. That, that I think, fits course, well. Within that software, you've got other software too, you've got the easy way of getting from the, the code or the node back to the, the data that's coded yeah. very, very quickly. Yeah, Perhaps yeah slightly indeed. Easier than on paper. It, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I was going to ask about the, 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 um, that, that process. It sounds to me as if by moving things up the hierarchy, moving something from a, a fairly low level code, uh, you know, second or third level down in the hierarchy, upwards, you're making it more important in some sense. And is that reflected necessarily in the analysis, for example, yeah. that it's, it's, a, it's a more important theme in the final life? I, I, I mean, I would say that the level in the hierarchy doesn't tell you how important it is to your final analysis. Uh, it, it's more an issue of how broadly you're conceptualising that issue. So do you see this as something that that's touches on a lot of different aspects, or is it a very specific point? Mm. But of course, I mean, usually, the reason you promote things is because you've got a lot to say about them. Mm -hmm. So for example, we did a study years ago where we were looking at a group of doctors and nurses who did this kind of s clinical supervision with each other which was an unusual thing for the disciplines to be working together. Uh, and initially we thought it was mostly around testing this particular model of supervision. And so that was quite a top level theme because we thought there'd be lots of sub themes of that. One of which was things to do with relationship dynamics between them. But the more we looked at the data, the more we had to say about the interpersonal relationships. Mm. And we, we felt that in that case, because there was a lot to say, it made sense to turn that into a top-level theme of its own, of its own hierarchy. But it could be that there is one very, very specific detailed point at the third or fourth level, which is really telling in, in, in the story you tell of the data, which is really like a, a key finding. So, so it's not as simple as to say those are more important than those, but they, it's more about breadth, I think, and scope yeah, yeah. Uh, than, than, than simple importance.